already know that atoms and the particles yes. inside of them are tiny, but they're so much smaller than most people think. Look at in nuclear engineering, this is the reason why neutron moderation works at all. Atoms are mostly vacuum, so fast neutrons can zip through material until they hit a nucleus by chance. A lot smaller than people think single strand of your hair. Okay. Now imagine Reference that point. single hair is as big across as the entire Earth is wide. Okay. Now, zoom in. The size of a single cell inside of that hair would be like the distance from Paris to Rome. Now zoom in again. A protein inside that cell would be like six soccer fields across. It's like comparing the diameter of a fuel rod to the gap between atoms and its crystal lattice. Each level is going to drop off by orders of magnitude. An atom inside that protein would be like one school bus across. <laughs> the nucleus at the center of that atom would be like the width of a grain of rice. So this ratio, one part in a hundred thousand, is why nuclear weapons work. The nucleus is tiny, but the energy locked in is vast compared to the size of the atom. Protons within that nucleus, they'd be like grains of salt. So At that level, you're talking about quark confinement and strong nuclear forces. It's no longer chemistry or classical physics. It's pure nuclear domain. Proton compared to the width of your hair is like a grain of salt <laughs> compared to the entire Earth. In the nuclear world, we quantify things by measuring them in barn. A barn is 10 to the minus 28th power square meter. As humans, we experience such a tiny slice of the full scale of reality. And every reactor core is a reminder that our macroscopic reality runs on subatomic process. 0.1% of uranium's mass converting to energy through fission drives entire power grids.